Hi, Jay. You know, they say you can tell a lot about a person just from their handshake. And I'm guessing you're a garbage expert, right? Learning stuff and watching television go hand in hand when you're a child. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 educational TV shows for kids. Well, the sun's a hot star, and Mercury's hot too. Venus is the brightest planet, turns home to me and you. For this list, we're choosing educational children's television shows based on a mix of their popularity, the quality of their educational content, and their longevity. Don, what are you doing with that wig? Well, it's an Einstein wig, and it's going to make me smarter. Yeah, well, you have to be smart enough to put it on your head. Oh. Well, it's all relative. Well, I'm glad you're not a relative of mine. Not even remotely? Speaking of that, take the remotely and turn off Beekman. Number 10, Arthur. What did I win? Everyone's favorite aardvark brings together a host of characters as they face important issues and learn valuable lessons. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Could you please bring a very, very rich girl a pillow? Join Arthur, his insufferable little sister DW, his friends, and his family as they tackle peer pressure, learning disabilities like dyslexia, and a myriad of other subjects for their viewers to see and learn from. No, reading first, George. Lonarbo de Vinky was born in... Uh -huh. In addition to these topics, younger viewers are introduced to different cultures and religions through a diverse set of characters. Do you know why we Jews celebrate Yom Kippur? It's when we ask for forgiveness for all the mistakes we've made. So, what are you, Frankela? Perfect? Number 9. Schoolhouse Rock In the mornings when I'm usually wide awake, I love to take a walk through the gardens and down by the lake where I often see a duck and a drake. And I wonder as I walk by just what they'd say if they could speak. What better way to learn than with a little rock and roll? Schoolhouse Rock is a series of animated musical shorts that cover a wide variety of subjects presented in song. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. From grammar and science to math and history, we sang along with the conjunction boxcars and with that little old Bill who just wanted to become a law. It's not easy to become a law, is it? No. But how I hope and pray that I will, but today I am still just a Bill. He signed you, Bill. Now you're a law. Oh, yes! Schoolhouse Rock aired in between programs on Saturday mornings, making sure to grab the attention of all youngsters. He's the great American melting pot. The great American melting pot. Number eight, Zaboomafu. Let's hit the water. Martin, Chris, I don't think there's any room. What do you mean? It's just us and the otters. No, there's a jaguar in there now. If you love animals and grew up in the 90s, you know the Krat Brothers. While we love Krat's creatures and wild Krats with their exotic settings and wildlife, Zabumafu tops all Krat Brothers shows thanks to the introduction of our favorite talking lemur. Zabumafu! <laughs> with the action taking place in the Animal Junction, viewers are presented a wide variety of creatures, from river otters to bears and wolverines. And the ways in which Zabumafu and the Krats interact with them teach us all about those particular animals. Bye, brothers! Bye, Zabu! See you, Zab! Number 7. Sid the Science Kid Did you hear the one about the kid who wanted to know everything about everything? That's you! <laughs> you got me! The inquisitive youngster Sid stars in this computer-generated educational TV show in which he tackles scientific questions with his friends and family in amusing fashion with the aim of generating scientific interest in young viewers. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lung. Lung who? It's been a long time since I've seen you. <laughs> <laughs> with every episode of a given week sharing a common theme, Sid the Science Kid displays basic principles of how things function. This is where we live, so if there's a way to help, I will. This anthill is our home, and so up and down I roam. Here's itty bitty me, lots of friends you see, we're all working for the colony. Weekly concepts include force and motion, where Sid shows how friction and elasticity work. 
as well as a week dedicated to the body and how it functions. I want to know why my face hurts when I laugh a lot. So my friends and I are going to investigate our bodies and discover how they work. Number six, where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Musical group Rockapella introduced us to this children's game show with an amazing theme song we still hum to ourselves today. Carmen Sandiego is a criminal mastermind working with her henchmen to commit various evil deeds. Greg, Double Trouble have stolen the Tony Awards and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Trouble. They're twin tricksters who party hardy and burgle brazenly. Based on the computer game series, the children's TV game show consisted of three junior detectives that served as contestants. Also known as gumshoes, they had to answer questions to figure out where one of Carmen's henchmen is located with the help of the chief and the Acme senior agent. I wonder how to say that guy is stealing your skyscraper in Dutch. Questions are centered on geography with answers leading to the henchman's capture. We're all proud of the work you did throughout the day. And for your good work, I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Number five, Reading Rainbow. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, Reading Rainbow. Hosted by LeVar Burton, every episode of Reading Rainbow featured a reading of a different book, often by a celebrity that was chosen so that young viewers could relate to the situations and characters of the story. The series promoted reading, while teaching viewers valuable lessons. Sharing with someone special makes you feel like you're the one getting the treat. Such as fitting in and maintaining friendships. You may not win a blue ribbon for being somebody's friend, but you'll always come out a winner. And that's true for all kinds of friends, whether you shake their hand or you shake their paw. Shake. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. It also featured children giving their own opinions and reviews on the books they liked further promoting a book reading culture and encouraging youth to read. But not until I say good night, sweet dreams, and I'll see you next time. Number four, the magic school bus. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip. With a friend? No way! This award-winning show introduces us to the best teacher ever, Miss Frizzle, as she takes her class on various trips. What's happening? She does this with the help of the titular Magic School Bus, which is capable of expanding, shrinking, and changing itself into many forms. What's going on? Seatbelts, everyone! Ralphie, say ah! Uh, <laughs> with a boisterous and diverse cast of school children, viewers are transported with them to many adventures from space to inside a person's body, learning alongside the class about the various topics covered in every episode. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yay! We made the rain, we got to keep the game! Number three, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the Science Guy. Hosted by science educator and comedian Bill Nye, this educational TV program aims to teach its viewers about various topics in natural science, such as magnetism and evolution. Humans have changed the environment faster than most living things can keep up. The science guy, dressed in a lab coat and bow tie, attempts to bring out the fun side of science with jokes and action inside his Nye laboratories. There's no way to get a magnet with just one pole. Not only did Bill Nye the Science Guy have a singing along to the parody of famous songs summarizing what was learned in the episode. You're looking at my face, you think I look strange, but in a million years you bet that there'll be a change. But by the time an episode ended, everyone was saying science rules. Science rules. Number two, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Could you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please, please won't you be my neighbor? With his gentle, inviting manner, the soft-spoken Mr. Rogers held the attention of children and adults alike, as he knew exactly how to talk to us directly in this children's TV series. Well, all tigers are different. 
just like all people are different. And there is no person in this whole world who is a mistake, no matter how different that person may seem. Each person is fine. There was just something about the way he approached and taught us about various topics, including how things are made, to making mistakes, and even death. Who can forget what it was like watching the trolley make its way into the neighborhood, and Mr. Rogers changing into his iconic sweater while singing to us. And of course, we always loved being transported to the neighborhood of make-believe, inhabited by hand puppets. But I'd get eat out of here. Ooh, I can't stand the spell. Oh no, no. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. We thought ahead and made a plan, so we wouldn't forget anything we might need. That way, we could spend the whole morning enjoying our fishing instead of going up and down the stairs all day. You know, the only ones on the entire planet that create garbage are human beings. <laughs> Plus one animal, you. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a... Puppy! E-I-E-I-O. A shark's teeth are its weapons for catching, killing, and eating food. And they wear out very quickly. That's why sharks have rows and rows of replacement teeth, ready to go in there and start biting. Number one, Sesame Street. Sunny day, sleeping up. The goal of the longest-running educational TV show ever is to hold the attention of and educate children. And Sesame Street's longevity shows us just how successful it's been. Cause everyone makes mistakes, so yes they do. Your sister and your brother and your dad and mother too. Join Big Bird, Elmo, Cookie Monster, and the rest of the gang on this TV series as they prepare your kids for what's to come using humor and fun. Oh, Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Bo -bo -bo -dio. From simple topics like learning numbers with the count. One, two, three, four, five, six feet, six feet under. Ah, ah, ah. Two of the more serious, like dealing with emergency situations, Sesame Street continues to inspire both young and old alike, more than four decades after its premiere. Cookie starts with C. Let's think of other things that starts with C. Uh, ah, who cares about other things? C is for Cookie. That's good enough for me. Do you agree with our picks? What's your favorite educational TV show that you watched during your childhood? For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Bye. Bye bye. See you later. Sweet potato. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you real soon. Bye bye.